What's going on, friends and uh, acquaintances? Here we are. Here we are. Back for another Pro Tour Cube draft here on Magic the Gathering Online slash United States slash United Kingdom slash Siberia. I'm your host, The Experiment One, and uh, I have no idea what to take here. I'm not a big Aether Vial fan. Oh, what happened? Daniel, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm also in St. Petersburg, uh, plus 20 minutes, so Clearwater. Unless you mean Russia, in which case, similar but different. I don't know what to take here. I think I want to take the Damnation. I think that feels like the strongest card in this pack, but... I don't know. I'm going to take it. Floodplain makes me real sad. Like, I think I could have taken the Floodplain, but it just feels so much worse than regular Fetchlands. And that makes me real reluctant to take them. I kind of want Confiscate. How, why? Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm probably just going to take Confiscate here. I feel like it's very strong. I feel like this is this feels like a Planeswalker cube. Where the Planeswalkers are really strong. And I think Confiscate being able to take any Planeswalker is pretty good. Ten, good luck. I have to work. I hate my life bits. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Oh, Umazawa's Jitte seems insane, right? Hugo, thank you so much for the re for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I like Verdant Catacombs a lot, but I think Jitte is probably... It feels real powerful. I think we could make Psychotog work, but I don't know if I want to risk it right now. Crypt Angel could be good again. I was actually impressed with Crypt Angel last night. Pro White and Flying is great. And it's also just a Grave Digger. It's probably Worn Power Stone, though. That seems pretty powerful. Sifali, I think you want to put card in front of uh, Floodplain. There you go. You figured it out. I'm going to take Power Stone. I could take Overgrown Tomb. Um, but we don't actually have any colors yet. Like, we're just as likely to take Caves of Coilos. Except for this gets searched out, so it's just probably better. Hmm. So we're blue, black, technically right now. We could take Flame Tongue Kavu. That is a valuable creature. We could take Baneslayer Angel. This pack is interesting. We could just take Murderous Cut to stay on color. I think with Power Stone on three, we probably want Bane Slayer or Flame Tongue Kavu. Flame Tongue is obviously easier, easier to splash. I'm gonna take the Bane Slayer and maybe the cut or the the cut or the Soren comes back. I also think Bane Slayer in cubes is surprisingly strong. That's my that's my feeling on the matter. Deader's Nell actually seems pretty busted. I'm gonna take Deader's Nell and see if we can just do a thing with Deader's Nell. This is super interesting. Um This cube is weird because I'm not sure if Debtor's Nell is strong enough to be a card in this cube, but maybe. So we're going to try to find out. I'll take the Sacred Foundry. If we get a red white or a, any kind of red X dual land, we can, or a fetch land, we can search it out. None of these other cards are going to be played by us. <clears throat> Shambling Vent seems great for our uh, three color deck. I'll take that guy. Cube Frank is definitely greater than M19 Frank. But here's the fair thing. To be fair, 
Uh, the beginning of M19, Frank, was just fine, I think. Hmm. Can we got him with the mana tithe? Uh, Debtor's Knell was definitely in the Ravnica Pro Tour Top 8, correct. Knight of Infamy also pretty good with the Jitte. I'm going to take this Knight of Infamy, actually. Uh, M19 draft was fine. I think it was a little better than your average core set draft. Uh, but after like 40 drafts, it does get a little monotonous. Azorius Charm. All right. All on board for a little trickery. A little trickeration. At worst, we cycle, right? Get on my cycle. None of these cards are great for us. I'll just take Paladin. Not going to be playing Necropotence. Crypt Angel came back. That can get blue guys back. Wall of Reverence. I'll just take the Crypt Angel. We're gonna just play Angels of that deck. Order of Leotbur. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Alright. So maybe we're just like, what if we're like white black weenies and we cut this and now we have just like a pretty reasonable black white deck? I'm not. <laughs> Talk about setting ourselves up for cruel ultimatum, am I right? He's not right because he didn't set himself up. I don't know why he said that. That doesn't even make any sense. So, Draining Wilk is actually pretty cool. If you play a 6-drop, you get to counter. If they play a 6-drop, you get a 7-7 seven, seven counter. What was your actual favorite set to draft? Uh, Probably... I think it was either Ravnica, the Ravnica block, or Cons of Tarkir block. Both of those are very, very good. Chief Haka, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I am not a Chrome Mox fan. I'm a I'm an inherent uh it, I think it's one of these. I'm gonna take the stasis snare. Disfigure, last breath. Misty Rainforest gets blue, but nothing else. That's pretty unimpressive. We could take the Cascade Bluffs for when the uh, Cruel Ultimatum wheels. Hmm. I mean, Repulse is pretty okay. I think Welk is very good. I could see Welk tabling, though. I think it might just be Disfigure here. I really do want to play this, though, I'll be honest. I don't care about you, and I think we're actually just fine without that. I think Confiscate is super strong. Avacyn and Hero of Bladehold. Hmm. I'd take the Scrooping Tarpet if I think we're if I think the blue is better than the either of these white cards. I'm not sure it is. I think Hero is good. And even if we don't play blue, like we're still gonna play Hero. Wow, and Brimaz too, huh? Hmm. The problem is we have this damnation, and then like these picks are also blanking our damnation pick. Whereas like if we're not playing, I'd probably just pick this if we're not playing if we're playing blue, because Thirst is very, very good. I feel pulled in so many different directions right now.
Liliana's mastery is cool, but like, how many zombies are we really going to have? Like, none? I don't know how many zombies there are. I don't care about this. Actually, Skurzak High Priest might just be really good. I'm going to put High Priest in the deck. Jareth Leonin Titan. I think Jareth is probably better than Relentless Dead. Pro Red, Target Creature Gains Pro Red. Not bad. I think Jareth is just a pretty good finisher here. Dreadwander. Now we're just going to get all the zombies. Watch. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I feel like our Mardu deck could be pretty good. Like, there's a bunch of good Mardu stuff. We also have a Sacred Foundry and a Shambling Vent. Actually, interesting. Fireball's still probably pretty good, right? Hmm. And if that Blood Crypt wheels for some reason... I like Last Breath better than Step Links. Lord of the Accursed. That is a zombie. We passed a lot of good zombies, unfortunately. Meh to all of this. Welder, huh? Wow, none of the zombies came back. That's pretty sad. I mean, like Lord of the Accursed, but... Uh, Lodiana's Mastery, The Relentless Dead. Ah, uh, Punishing Fire I can actually see playing. Wingmate Rock seems pretty excellent. I think Wingmate Rock's probably better than Rekindling Phoenix for us. <sighs> Medium fan. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. That's all I can ask for. I'm going to get Wingmate Rock. I haven't played a Wingmate Rock since Khan's uh, constructed. Elspeth is pretty sick. Probably the pick. I mean, the only other cons considerations are Black Knight and Knight of Stromgold, but we don't have, like... We don't have... We have one black-white land, so the odds of playing a double black card and a double white card on turn two are pretty low. For anyone who's asking about the Pro Tour cube, can any of you guys uh, make sure to use the Pro Tour command so that... God, Inferno Titan's real good, too. And we have Worn Power Stone, which is kind of nice. Double red, though. Ah, oh, apparently there already was a PT cube command that I, that I didn't even know about. All right. Well, then. Uh, I'd rather have, like, Utter End for the sideboard than Relic Order. Utter End actually gets rid of anything, including Planeswalkers, and I'll probably just play this in the main deck, to be quite honest. I don't like passing these, but I think this is actually fine. 
Yeah, Utter End seems good. Oh, another Elspeth. Oh, Angel of Despair seems like gas. Do we have a way to play this for cheaper? Diagraph Colossus, we have Lord, Dreadwander, and that's pretty much it. I also don't see Crypt Angel making the cut if we can't get creatures back with it, so... Hmm. It's either Elspeth or Angel, I think. I think we already have a 7 drop, though. I don't think we want Angel. We could also take Terror. I do like just pretty solid removal. I do think Planeswalkers are very good in this cube, though. I kind of like the Last Breath with the Punishing Fire. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to take the Elspeth. I think Terror is a little more... Uh... The sword fits the curve? We have a ton of 3-drops already. Sword actually just... I'd rather have a 2-drop or a 4-drop to fill in those spots. Godless Shrine is probably exactly what we want. I'm going to take the Angel out because I don't foresee us playing that. Don't care about Doom Traveler, I'll be honest. It's really kind of sad. I can see Recurring Nightmare, but we really don't have a lot of creatures that we want to bring back. Yeah, Recurring Nightmare is a good card. But what are we bringing back? A Dread Wanderer? A Knight of Infamy? Like... We don't have any creatures that we want to bring back from the graveyard is the problem. Like, I mean, you guys you guys are tending to see the, the quality of the card rather than the, the, the targets that we can actually bring back. And I think I'd rather just have a Godless Shrine or even a Decree of Justice could be fantastic here. I want to take the Godless Shrine, though, because we're trying to play three colors and we have very little fixing. So. None of these cards are really great. I just want Jildorn Outpost. Parallax Wave is actually probably fine. We can bring Parallax Wave in here. Pure Steel Paladin. That's a good card, but we're probably not playing it in any in any reasonable thing here. I don't know how I feel about this deck. I think Abbott is fine here. Cranial plating. Ooh. Actually, I want the abrade. It gets rid of uh, artifacts, which we don't really have a way to do right now. Savannah Lions, are you the pick? Frenzied Goblin, probably not the pick. I don't think we're going to have red that early. And also, I'm also taking Abbott of Carol Keep as sort of a later pick in order to uh, draw a card. Uh, you can only activate Recurring Nightmare as a sorcery, so you can't actually sacrifice a creature that gets blocked in order to get something back. That would be pretty broken. Uh, this is my fourth draft. I think Knight of Stromgold is just better than Black Knight. So we're going to take that guy. Yeah, Relic Order comes back. Order of the Ebon Hand. There are so many of these knights, dude. I think there's like White Knight, Order of the Ebon Hand. There's Knight of Infamy. Like, there's at least three of each color. If Diagraph Colossus came back, might actually play that guy. Wow, Decree of Justice came back? We'll definitely be playing that. Could also take Needle Spires, but... I think it's got to be Needle Spires, actually. That feels bad, but... I think I'd rather have the fourth fixing land. Because I don't feel a reason not to play things like Fireball or Punishing Fire or Abbot of Curl Keep. So... Uh, definitely don't want to take Double Black... Double Red Pulse...
All right, you're out. You're out. Hmm. Well, it's not someone's personalized cube. I mean, it's a cube that consists of Pro Tour cards. So, I mean, like, no one's no one's making the choice to have those cards in here. It's just a it's a cube that already has predetermined cards based on uh, cards that were, have made the top eight of Pro Tours. Hmm. We got like one red creature, so Crypt Angel not great here. I do like. Uh, Dark Life is not good here, but we're trying to figure out the cuts. Lord of the Accursed, also not great. And that's probably the deck. Oh, it's like 11 creatures, though. Good lord, that's bad. Especially with Jitte and Skurzdag High Priest. Punishing Fire, probably not worth the splash. I mean, I'd sooner put in the pro the pro black two one than I would the Doom Traveler. Especially because all of our lands make white mana. So we have a braid. Do we even splash red? Let's say we take the red out. We have two lands. It's almost like a free splash, but I don't really want to draw a mountain is the problem. So we can go Relic Warder, Silverblade Paladin. Savannah Lion's Doom Traveler. Uh, as someone as as my fourth my fourth draft, I have no idea. I have no idea what the strongest color combinations are, especially because usually cubes don't come down to color combinations; they come down to strategies. Uh, this guy does nothing. It's just basically a 2-2 two -two for, for 2 or for 3. Uh, and this guy is a 2-3 three for 3. And then the, these are just unimpressive without a zombie, a general, general zombie theme. And this is the only zombie we have in the deck. Parallax Wave is probably fine, but I don't know what I'd cut for it. Like, we have 15 creatures. I'm not really comfortable cutting creatures when we have cards that need creatures. Like, Skurzdag High Priest. Umazawa's Jitte. I mean, you can cut a Disfigure. But I kind of also want to make sure I have ways to clear the road because we have really kind of medium creatures like this. I mean, we cut a Debtor's Snell, but I kind of like just having an endgame. Especially because you do have, like, one Power Stone. Just draft your old deck. Got him. Right, having Black Black and White White is tough, but, like... Okay, just move this over here then. Now it's a four drop. Like, you don't have to have them on turn two. Oh, man. Um... Yeah, I'll try the Parallax Wave or the Debtor's Nell. I can see that. And we'll just bring these two. This guy. Wow. One, two, three... 14, huh? 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, 9. 10, 9? That seems probably better, especially because you do it. Black on one. How was Deadder's Nell for you? I didn't play Deadder's Nell yesterday. 
That's a weird question to ask. This is the only double black card in the deck, which is kind of interesting. Makes me want to cut the cut it for something, but like Yeah, let's do that. We can actually 8 9 10 11 6 7 8 11 to 8 seems probably better. I don't really want to go to 7. No, this is only the fourth draft. Uh, I mean, like, drafting... No, I have not played Debtor's Knell in this cube yet. We'll cut this for the Debtor's Knell. I like Debtor's Knell. It's every up... At the, it's, it's, every, it's every graveyard, so... Like, if you kill their guy and you get a bag, it's pretty cool. It's just like a... Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. This seems fine. I'm curious. <laughs> Always have to have... White, white, or black, black on turn two, since that's a commander mana cost to play it on turn two. Can't play it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, people are so funny. They're like, you're not going to get this on turn three. And I'm like, well, I don't have to. It's a fine card to play on turn five or a turn four or six, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, it could be worth splashing Fireball. Actually, I don't hate that. It might be better. What if we just add Ran. No, Debtor's Knell? It might be better than Debtor's Knell. I'm not sure, though. I mean, it is Fireball, right? It's pretty good reach. And we have, like, a basically a free splash off of... I really just wanted to try Debtor's Knell. The problem is we don't have a lot of ways to kill creatures, right? So, like, we play Debtor's Knell, and we have Utter End, which exiles, Stasis Snare, which exiles, Disfigure, which only kills a small creature, Relic Warder, which exiles. Um, we don't have a ton of ways to kill big creatures. Uh, I would pick Ancient Tomb, pack one, 99% of the time. Uh, this hand seems great, surprisingly. Oh, DM Harnack. Glad to hear it, buddy. You, hopefully you're enjoying it. Atlanta is great. So we're going to do one of these jobbies. This is a curve, boys. I guess we found out where the zombies went. I, which doesn't make sense because they weren't in our, in our, oh yeah, fashionably late to the party, I see. Okay. Um, they weren't in our cube, so they were clearly, because we have a Dread Wanderer too, so they were, clearly that's not where our zombies went. I'm going to take two here. Oh boy, found it. What are the odds this Burmaz gets terrored almost immediately? Why do former channel for Fireball Content Conquerors can correctly play Fireball in a non channel deck? You know, it's like I learned nothing. Terror. Yep, never survives. Poor little Brimaz.
It sure feels like cat tribal here, doesn't it? Hey, show a phase like we're at the same life total, and I've been at I attacked you one less time. That's good. That's good value. Do you have another removal spell? You're not playing anything, so I assume your hand is just full of removal, and you're gonna get there with this dread wanderer. Cyberdrack, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Terror. Boop. Oh, disfigure my Knight of Infamy. Okay, well that's good, because it says you don't have a removal for this. At least not one that you could... Yep, cast at instant speed. You guys didn't hear that because I had it muted. Dang, I'm so bad at that. I like being able to wipe the board here. That's pretty good. We're going to do that eventually. Wait till that Dread Wanderer comes back. Or that Debtor's Nell, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're almost there. We're halfway. Also, this Wall of Blossom shuts us down pretty solidly. Pretty handily, I might say. I'm just going to block here. You're pretty far away from getting that guy back, so... I'll just trade and make a 1-1 one, one that can get float. Because if we draw this Umazawa's Jitte, it was a stasis snare. Dang it. Well, they can't terror this, right? So that's pretty good. Sudden neg four neg four, in before neg four neg four. Oh god, that's obnoxious. Got the old murderous cut, disfigure, dismember, necrotal deck here is what we're looking at, boys. I don't want to like, I don't care about this wall. I don't want to waste a disfigure or a fireball on it, so I'm probably just going to neck. I'm going to disfigure this necrotal. I'm actually afraid of attacking with Needle Spires because they're not playing anything. Matthew, you already you already don't you already donated for Slay the Spire and I picked it up. Oh, I bet they 100% have terror. That's my guess. They have four cards in hand. It's got to be like Shriek Maw, right? Like, it's 100% a removal spell. And we're just going to play Bane Slayer. Where's, like, where's our Planeswalkers at? That's probably pretty good.
Well, if they don't have removal for this Bane Slayer, it's pretty good. They don't. Get that Neil Spires out of here, I guess. All right. So we got him on the two turn clock now with the old Bane Slayer spirit action. We can also just deal them four or five. That's ten. We can literally put them to one here. I think they're dead. Oh, Scred Dragons? Maybe that's what we're doing. Who knows? All right, that'll do. Boop. Parallax Wave, Exile, Exile. But then the Acidic Slime comes back and kills you. I kind of like Last Breath here. It gives them life, but like... We didn't see any Relic Order targets, and we did see a ton of Last Breath targets, so... Oh man, we didn't even have the Debtor's Knell in the deck. Who knew? Like, every... <laughs> all four of the creatures they played were... Last Breath targets. The Dread Wanderer, the Necrotal, the Wall, and the Acidic Slime. Hmm. I'm going to take out the Outpost and add another... Add another one of these jobbies, and then we're going to bring in... Punishing Fire? I'm definitely bringing in Debtor's Nell for Parallax Wave. That's 100%. I was gonna add another red card. I don't want to. I don't want them to like. We'll have to sack a land to play outpost, and they just go acidic slime, and that's pretty stupid. Probably just a braid. Punishing fire is cute, but the only way to have, we have to make them gain life is like last breath, and I don't feel like uh, having to keep a red up is pretty. Uh, it's pretty inefficient, I think. Uh, how did the brown deck do? We went two one, two one with the artifact deck, which you guys can catch on the tubes of you. This hand would be great if we can draw literal ant lands for the rest of the game. Like two, three, three into five, six. But that is not something we can count on. I will keep this hand. I'm going to put you on the bottom. We have two removal spells in hand. We kind of want more than that. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yikes. They're not doing anything. Intriguing. So ideally they tap out to play a guy, not an acidic slime. Don't have a little bitty acidic slime. The Negan voice. I, I wish I knew one. Give me a Negan quote. Okay, we're just going to attack that Liliana then. And they're going to have Disfigure for our land, which is kind of sad. All right, well, I know you have it. Oh, don't do it. <sighs> Crying out loud. I mean, we're going to have to fireball Liliana for four. <laughs> Now 
Playing this guy is just worse because they just actually kill it. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, this is pretty much how I expect a fireball to match up against a planeswalker. It's very strong and it kind of does drop a little bit, but not really. Pro Black is actually pretty sick here. And next time we can play Jareth, which is pretty good. Beast Within. Wow, I like they were just naming all the exact cards they're going to have, which is pretty fair. That's a pretty fair thing to do. This guy gets pumped, right? All right. Oh man, pro black is OP against them. This is this is great. I feel more like a like a Negan than a Goodbye, my friend. No, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. So we can deal two here. I think that's actually fine. This guy becomes a six. It can make this guy a six. We give it pro black. I can't imagine they actually attack into Jareth. And we can just kill it next turn. Riders on the storm. Two protection from black creatures. I'm just going to let that happen because if they want to respond with the removal spell, uh, they can just kill it. <laughs> like, if I go pro-black and then they're like, alright, Doomblade in response. If they happen to have two removal spells here, so be it, I guess. This is a weird, this is a weird attack. I will get plus seven, plus seven. <laughs> like, all right, I guess you eat your guy for free. I guess I could take four if you want to take two. Literally two people in the chat. Maybe they didn't read your card. That is a thick ass boy. I don't actually know how they beat this if I have like four or five white sources up. This card seems insane. All right, pro black. So now we just get to eat Liliana, which is pretty pretty sick. You can feel it all over. We're just going to assume they don't have a green removal spell or a green creature they can flash in, but we have a lot of... Thank goodness. All right. We're safe again. 
No cards in hand. So this guy's live if we ever get to play him. Grasp of Darkness. Yep, can't do anything about that. You got it. Oh, maybe they're hoping to, like, Grasp of Darkness the Jareth? Like, maybe I'm like, oh, I'll give it Pro Black in response to the block, and I'm just like... That's obnoxious. I tried so hard and got so far. Get my Liliana of the Veil back. Yep. See, this is interesting, because now we can just go pro green, pro green, and we just kill Liliana again, so. Cat tribal, getting them. What up, Morphmer? Glad you can finally catch a stream. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana, so we can actually go this, go this, and still keep a black up, a rug, a, a blue green up. What's he saying? Nobody knows. What's more important, actually getting this guy into play or being able to keep up protection from Jareth? I doubt they're going to actually have... We're going to get this guy back. I doubt they have a green removal spell and a black removal spell this specific turn, so... I also doubt they have two specific removal spells. Oh, wow. Play that untapped. All right. You got it. Uh, I will block with protection from black creature. This is all very strange. Thank you. Haj Gulashi, you just gifted five subs? What in the earth, man? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> really appreciate it, buddy. Man. Thank you. Okay. Sure. I feel like casting that twice, which is probably why they put this into play untapped, because obviously the, they didn't need it. Casting this twice on, like, even this guy and this guy is probably still better than just equipping and getting your eye blocked by no one. So, what can we deal here? I guess we're attacking with you. Craig 69. <laughs> it's actually Craig F69. 69, dudes! We have a good time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like this guy is just way safer to keep keep on D. We'll 
We'll pump once. So we can deal five instead of six. That's totally fine. They have a card. We have a card. Everybody's got a card. We are in a prime position for a debtor's nail here. We can get back their Dread Wanderer. Or our Knight of Infamy. Last game was debtor's nail game. This game, not so much. I don't think... I think Jareth Legion and Titan is almost unbeatable if you have... Multiple... Two or three planes up. Like, actual brick wall. If this card had Vigilance, I think it'd be busted. Dread Wandery. All right, you got it. You got it. There we go. There we go. That's actually pretty good because I like a clue. That's pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to play that. We could actually attack if they block. They can't block here, so if they block here, we just pump it once and give it first strike, so it's three mana. I'd rather just use five mana and play Bane Slayer. I looked and I got a Dingus Egg. Dingus Eggs are the worst. Uh, I don't know if that's what I was going for, but I would not be surprised if I subconsciously picked up an Aziz Ansari smile. You can feel it all over. Burnt. Burnt. I don't know what's going on here. We're just going to wait. The waiting game. Four, seven. Seems good. I mean, that still doesn't really do much, but it is obnoxious that they had that. Debtor's Nell. Doom Travely. Alright, you can get in there, Doom Travely. Well, this guy's gonna just do some do some heavy lifting now. Since they can only draw one card, we only need to give this guy protection once, so. Could they have won if they gave our guy fear? No. Right? Because you still have a blocker. So we go block. We can't block here. We would have taken seven, four, five, six. It would have been real close. If they had one more land. Actually, what if they didn't kill Bane Slayer? No, they would have gone seven to our face and then uh, fear, fear, fear. That's what it does, right? It gives fear. Yeah. Okay, I believe you jump into mine. Well, we're going to pump you once. Because we have no reason not to. This is a pretty reasonable stalemate here. What up, Juposhi? Good seeing you, buddy. 
Uh, we, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't life link with an angel if they gave their guys fear because they can't block a black creature. And if they were able to kill us on the spot, that also uh, wouldn't really do anything. Do they just try to kill Jareth and like hope I miss it? <laughs> like, it, it's really the biggest thing. Like, do you care about the Dread Wanderer? Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. Okay. <laughs> like, that's literally, it's, it's real sad when your best option is to be like, Okay, I have to just try to target it to see if they miss it. Because literally it's that much better than anything else on the board. Yep, we did not miss it. I think it's if we attack with this guy now and pump it to four. We can actually just win next turn with Jareth. They kind of have to block. Or they do not. I should have left a... Actually, it doesn't matter. Like, I was going to say I should have left a plane sub in case they have a way to kill our godless shrine. Uh, because there's more ways to kill non-basic lands, I assume. But the problem is, if they if they, if they they have a way to kill our non-basic land, that's what they drew for the turn. So they're not also going to be killing Jareth. So, in this situation, it's just fine. I mean, we just win next turn by Jareth, so... We said good games, but this is where they're actually like drain life you for seven. And I'm like, I see. That's not what happened though. Um, I think our deck is actually fine. I like all the things that we have. This game is so long. That's what she said. I will play first. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. I think Elspeth's good enough. Do we want to go turn one Doom Traveler? Probably. We don't have a reason to play Shambling Vent on turn one right now. Oh, Shadow Titan. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Fantastic. We have a good time. It can only be Jareth. He went to Jareth. Half ghost. Yeah, but that's not intentional. Like, you're not intentionally trying to play against me. And, and that's what I mean. Like, you can have the information. Like, that's fine. Because it's not intentional, right? Like, this is the biggest difference between ghosting and, uh, like, just happening. Oh, I happen to come across your shirt or whatever. Like, it's totally different. Old Skurs Dag High Priest. He went to Jareth. Yeah, I don't. Yes, yeah, Shadow Titan's been a, is a regular stream viewer. I don't. I, I don't foresee 
uh, a regular stream viewer ghosting us just to win a cube match. That would be pretty, pretty ridiculous, I think. I'm going to make a gentleman today. I guess we're just attacking here. I don't foresee them flashing at anything. And if they kill a soldier, we're not actually going to have enough creatures to tap along with the high priest. So this is not like the best uh, position for... You like Skurs Dags? Here comes Wrath of God. Which is nice, we get to keep... Oh, no, just a sword. Okay, okay. But excuse me. Ba boom 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 ba ba boom ba ba boom ba boom ba boom boom. So we can actually aim all these dudes at the Soren, right? How can we make a thing? Tap two untapped creatures, so we're gonna need three guys. So close. Do you like dags? <laughs> Who's the lucky light? He went to Jared. Hit you for five arenos. Uh oh, this has been a rip in the space time continuum, guys. Two Elspeths is too many. Two El Elspeth, too. I kind of want to bring in Blightning because it's great against Planeswalkers. I want to bring in the Blightning. We're going to do the same job we did last time. I'll take out the Outpost and add another Mount on, a Mon Montagna. Another Tony Montagna. Uh, Crypt Angel could be good, but I really don't like that I can't get back any creatures with it. It's just a 3-3 a three, three Flyer for 5 is just kind of unimpressive. Like, this is this is the cube we're talking about, guys. I could bring a Knight of Stromgold. Probably over Savannah Lions, which is pretty mediocre. Do you think they scoop just to preserve space time before it totally tore itself apart? Uh, I think it's definitely possible. Uh, this hand seems good. We have a Worn Power Stone and a Jitte. He said GG, and then I said more like BG. And then I called him out for getting wrecked. <laughs> I will keep... <laughs> Why you come to me like that? <laughs> oh, we have a good time. You have a good time. I think Spectres are still full ghosts, right? It's okay, I'm just a half ghost. Really? Maybe they're half ghosts. You know what? I don't know. I'm not going to claim to know ghost physiology. Oh, that's a thing. I'll play this thing. 
You can tell by the way I use my walk and my walk and my... No, a, give me a, a white source so I can go Power Stone and a Bane Slayer Angel. Thank you. Magic is a game. Oh, that's not what we're doing. All right. We, we, got, we got a little ahead of ourselves there. They have six cards in hand. No, sir. I don't like it. Chris Hiskey, man, thank you so much for the resub. 30 months? Good lord. Frank claims to know nothing about ghosts is obviously good. Hey, listen. I mean, let's be honest. We don't have anything else to do but this. So, we'll just do this. Now we'll play event. And we'll hope you don't have a confiscate or a control magic in your black, white, red deck. Oh, of course they had. Original. <laughs> of course they had. The Terror. Lucky, 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 lucky. Lurking from YouTube first stream. <laughs> Karen, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Lando, how you doing, buddy? Touche. Touche. Oh, I see. I see. We can go activate, put counters on, Jitte. That doesn't seem super relevant. I'd rather just stasis. Oh, wait, that's not a creature, is it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get in there, you beautiful, you beautiful land. Ah, I have a slaughter pack. That doesn't work. Give me them beautiful counters. That was a twofer. Mortify, huh? Well, see you later. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Wait, why didn't you just mortar? Oh, you were tapped out. Okay. Hmm. I will be a half ghost and snipe Frank one day. Mark my words. Bits. <laughs> Zaxor, I can only hope, buddy. I can only hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to have eight mana next turn. That's some good fireball mana. You got it. One, two, buckle my shoe. I wish I can get these counters off. I mean, I'm definitely gonna snare this dude next turn. That's a snare. I don't know. I don't know how snares work, guys. I'm not a. I'm not a hunter. Three, four, can you shut the door? Five, six, pick up sticks. <laughs> this deck seems substantially better than the, the one I watched you draft. Yes, I imagine that's the case. If I could draw a creature, that'd be sick, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can, we can, we can, we can eat them. How many times did I say we can, 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 we can eat them? Sometimes I'm like, do I have a stutter? I don't think I do. I talk in the public space uh, every single day of my life, and I don't stutter, so I don't know where the the random stutter comes from. Sometimes we can, we can, we can, we can, we can snare them. We can fireball them. Oh god, what is this? Are you fireballing me first? Oh. Two angels? Okay, that's pretty good.
Can we actually we can just kill both of these with fireball, right? I will hit two. One, two, th three. X is one. X is four. X is currently six. X is eight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked, 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 wicked. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize they have six there. So. Elspeth, Night a rant. You like how I didn't use this worn power stone? I don't care. I'm gonna use it now. And I'm gonna play a dread wanderer. One ten, ten random stutter bits. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that's fascinating. All right. All right. Yeah, they call him the Wanderer. The Dread Wanderer. Stutter, 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 stutter bits. All right. Well, this is fine. This is all fine. Good lord, things are happening and I'm not a fan. And now he gets to kill Elspeth. Boy, this worked out real well, didn't it? I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Cat King? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Stutter bits. Fantastic. We have a good time. I can hear a Mike B in the distance getting his clothes out of the dryer. If you listen carefully, you can hear a wild Michael B getting his clothes out of the dryer. Alright, you get an angel but you don't get any life? That's sad. If I didn't bring this guy back, you wouldn't even got that... We're doing well, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing well. Can I draw an utter end followed by... I think that's probably better than it looks. One hundred Chuck Norris bits, ten more stutter bits. You guys are actually amazing. So you have two on you. Does it matter which one we do? Not really, right? Shut up and take my money. One summon Mike B. <laughs> also, that's funny you did that because I actually changed the uh, the GIF. So you actually chose your own adventure there. Ah. Equip. All right. Let's hope you have nothing. I guess is what we're what we're going for here. Oh, can you not have anything in two cards? You've been drawing very very well. They have Wrath of God. 
I guess that's only Wrath of God. I thought they had two. I was like, they have Wrath of God and another one? I thought they played Damnation. I guess that's just us. Oh, yes. Indestructible, you still deal damage, right? They just don't die to lethal damage. We have to block, so we'll do that. We can actually activate this three times, make it an 8-8, and we still get two counters. Or we can activate it none times. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him. That's actually not, he's not indestructible. Never mind. I am dumb and magic is hard. And these are the lessons that we've learned today. Hmm. Well, thankfully everyone's like, he's not indestructible, it just prevents the damage. No one said that, so that's good. I feel like we all we all didn't know it together. Either way, we still had to block, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just wondering if I want to kill this first. I think I might, because... Because if we don't kill this, the thing is, Gideon's lethal next turn, if they have a uh, way to get through... And now getting this not lethal, and we can get through with a Jitte. Is there that kitty in here? I'm going to play this guy, and I'm going to assume uh, it doesn't come back to bite us. No, we're going to use this. We can also block with Shambling Vent as well, once we have mana to do so. That is worth noting. It's just a free block. All right. I think we actually might do that now. Alternatively, we can actually activate Shambling Vent, pump it once. Well, we've got to pump it twice, I guess, so that makes it not as worth it. I assume you're going to have a play here. No. There's a lot of lands we're drawing. Oh boy. Restoration Angel? Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, this is why we're trying to get rid of the Gideon instead, because it's significantly more threatening to us. Like, unless we think we can close out the game in two or three turns, we just have to take care of this Gideon. Frasca's Contempt, Terror, Terminate, Utter End, Actual Terror, Contagion, Wrath of God. Hmm. We're definitely bringing in Debtor's Nell, even though it does... Uh, die to utter end going to two technically seems good yep that's probably going to kill us I don't know what it will be but I have a feeling it's not going to be good what up, Seville Pippin? Long time no see, buddy. Uh, it's always Chicken Sunday. That doesn't change with time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. 
9 to 12. We're doing it again. Even not in... Even not in M19, the mana is still getting us. I don't understand. Well, Gideon's no longer a threat. Oh, I haven't read I haven't read many good books recently. I do have uh Steve Jobs' daughter's memoir on pre-order, so whenever that comes out. I have no idea what they're going to play here, but we can gain 8 life, so we're at 10. Now I'm looking up Lincoln and the Bardo because you guys make it sound really good. Angel of Despair. That is a good one. Can I draw an equally good one? Is that possible? I feel like if we draw any removal spell here, it's 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 we're in good shape. It's not a bad card. All right, let's see what you got. Like, you literally just tutor for your two best cards, which is pretty good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What even is happening here? Okay. Amazing. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 mana sources to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 13 to 10. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. Um... Matty folks, thanks for the host, buddy. We really appreciate it. Uh, so at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we can deal ten. Yeah, that's game. All right. Well then, why isn't this in our deck? That's the question. I actually kind of like Skizik here because it kills, like, it just f flash it in, kill a Planeswalker. That actually seems pretty good. Doom Traveler seems pretty unimpressive. I feel like it's funny because Knight of Stronghold, Order of Leoper, and, and Knight of Infamy would have been amazing there. All three of them have protection from half of their removal spells. And uh, we did not seem to find any of them, which is kind of sad. Parallax Wave, I don't really care about. Skizik seems good. I think we can probably take it to 41. Well, it's actually, Disfigure because it's probably pretty bad. It's probably worse than like... All right, so we have eight black sources. 10 white sources. I'm gonna add one more just for the Skizik. We're gonna submit like this. I 
I'm okay with this hand. This guy could be unbeatable, but probably not. A lot of the removal is black-based, so... Starting on red is interesting because their deck is clearly not main red. I am Valley Man. Thank you for the, thank you for the bits. Really appreciate it. It's definitely happy cube. Up oh, now we don't get to draw third land. Magic is a game of highs and lows. Wow, that is aggressive. So you have to discard, and you if you have Contagion, you're going to have to discard again for the Contagion. I do not remember saying, quit igging me mum. When did that... When did I say that? Lightning Helix. Fascinating. I feel like this is important to do. Valleyman, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. It's nature's candy. <laughs> is quinoa the vegetarian? Oh, I don't think so. Wow. That's incredible. So you used... Ink Eyes, Contagion, and you discarded a Lightning Helix, and you cast a Painful Truths. That is an interesting series of plays. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, well, I guess that explains it, doesn't it? If we can just draw land, land. I mean, I, I don't mind just drawing lands with this hand, so... I actually prefer it. We have yet to draw like Wingmate Rock. We have yet to draw lots of things. Is Quinoa a sandwich? Hmm. Oh, Lightning Helix. I get all my mana. How nice. Gideon Jura. feel really far behind right now. We could have actually killed... No, we couldn't kill Johnny because they have Gideon Jura. Yep, this is pretty rough. Turn six, we have missed two land drops so far. They have not done anything. I guess, fingers crossed, they don't have a removal spell. Uh, I don't know if the Pro Circuit is better than the Legacy Cube. It is totally different. Utter End. Yep. Vraska's Contempt, sure. <sighs> this is pretty hard to beat. Yep. Pretty much done here. All right. Sorry, can't be Gideon, Angel of Despair, and uh, a Johnny when we're missing land drops. So, 
I also have six and seven drops in hand in deck, but I don't get to play those. Anyway. I'm actually not one to often good game. Like, I don't good game... Uh, I'll, I'll good game in response. Like, if someone good games me, I'll usually good game them back. But I usually don't do it on my own. Um, and especially not, like, just randomly. Like, sometimes it's actually not a good game. Like, I felt like I was never in that game at any point. Um, I missed mana. I missed land drops. Two, at least two land drops. You know, like, it wasn't what, 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 it, there was no, like, good game for the sake of good gaming, I don't really believe in. Like, I think it's a good game, if it's a good game, like, it's a good game. Like, the first game was a good game. The second game, I think, was, was a fine game. I could have, uh, drawn a few more lands, in, or I could have drawn, drawn a few fewer lands, which would have been fine, but uh, either way, like, we both got to play our things, there was a lot of back and forth, like, I think all of it was fine. But, um, I mean, like, I'll say something else, I'll be like, hey, thanks for, thanks for the games, or whatever, but, I mean... You know, <laughs> shout out Titan with the big fan. Oh, man, you scumbag. You are the worst. No, I mean, like, being missing land drops and then getting locked out with a Johnny is just like, okay. I can't really do anything about that. Oh, uh, I, I actually, yeah, I definitely used to have people trash talk me in MTG chat. It has not happened for quite a while, which is interesting. So, this hand is pretty good. Presuming we can uh, draw one more land. However, the mono red deck does not seem well prepared against the main Slayer Angel. And they are not showing me any other colors than red. I think this... I, I'm i going to go out on a limb and say Bane Slayer is probably just going to win this game on its own. Yeah, that, that six land did not hurt. I would not be surprised to see a concession to a Bane Slayer Angel. Fireball. Uh-oh. Yep, there it is. There it is. If I had one more creature, I could have activated Skur's Dag High Priest, which is a big deal. They could fireball it. <laughs> I hate you guys. This is also another card that I feel like they'll have a hard time beating, but we'll see. You never know. Get a free point of damage in here. Don't do it, man. Oh, you! Oh, mistakes have been made. One floaty boy or a giant ball of fire. The flo one floaty girl would, would would definitely lose that, unfortunately. <laughs> oh man. 10, don't go out on a limb, bits. I'm gonna go out on a limb and... Oh, I died, I see. Oh, Flames of the Blood Hand to Elspeth. That's something. Yikes. I don't believe in playing this guy before turn... Uh, before turn... Before you have 7 mana to actually save him. So I'm not gonna do it. This is pretty rough. Umazawa's Jitte, an Elspeth, a Skarsdag High Priest. I feel like I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out on any limbs here, but I feel like uh, our opponent might be a little outclassed in this particular situation. Here's like here's a cute trick. You guys want to see something cute? Uh, 
Demons for days. Detonate. And I'll just probably kill this guy now. Duff beer for me. Duff beer for you. I've got a duff. You have one too. They're just dead on board, right? Yeah, that guy that guy can die. And then I'll just kill you, right? This is what's known as Exaxes. Spirits and Demons. Together again for the first time. Alright, so mono red. I like it. I like that we can we can deal with this. Oh. Got him. Okay, what's happening here with mono red? We don't really have much against the mono red deck. This gains life. This has protection. This gains life. Parallax wave, I don't care about tremendously. I'd probably rather have just more like removal. Duff beer for me. Bring in the abrade. We did see a fire diamond, so it could just be useful. Take out the outpost again. I don't. I don't think I want outpost in any of these decks. I think this is fine. I don't think our deck is actually poorly positioned against a mono red deck. We only had. We only saw one. We saw one, and we saw a dark steel citadel, which is not going to be a target. So. I still, I'm still going to assume they have a couple, so Braid is, seems fine. <sighs> Duff beer for me. Shrapnel Blast is in the cube. If Shrapnel Blast wasn't in the cube, I'd be quite surprised. This hand is iffy. I'm going to keep it, though. Doom Traveler is like two blockers, and we got a Worn Power Stone. Zaxor, what is this you're sending? Oh, yeah, I've seen this. This is good. Oh, it's your girl. So if we can draw a black land for or black or red for turn two. I will block. Magma spray? No. That's some value right there. Eat it.
Black or red land, one time. Don't do me like that. Oh, planes. That is not what I asked for, but I accept. I don't see us blocking here. Oh man, I was really wanting to see where M19 draft said no one who's ever seen 40 plus drafts of any set. Wow, Wild Slash? Fascinating. Vile Aggregate? Fascinating. Fascinating. Well, next time we get to go Elspeth, which is pretty good. Or they detonate this, and we take three, four, five, six. And then we just get to play regular tiny Elspeth. Elspeth making one guy instead of Elspeth making three guys. Definitely seems worse. Hi. Can I help you? What are you doing? Yep, that's what we figured they'd do. It's kind of astonishing how frequently we can actually plan exactly what they're going to do with pinpoint accuracy because they always have it. <laughs> Here's what they're going to do. They're going to have this one card out of 30. Okay, they did it. Thank you. Diamond Dog, thank you so much for the resub. Or the regular sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Um, this guy's trample, right? It's really weird because trample's under everything, which is weird because usually your keywords are at the top. So, like, you actually don't even notice until you, like, hover over it, which is kind of obnoxious. I think I'm going to risk it and let Elspeth go to three because the next turn it gives us two blockers. It seems bad. I'll just block here. First sub ever, man. That seems good. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Can I get a different colored mana? Oh, there's a black card instead. Oh, wow. What a time to be alive. Oh, that ain't going to work. We're going to play this guy. Give it a old yes or no. Take the dose. Play the dude. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. We're having a good time. I mean, if we hit another land that's not a Needle Spires and preferably not a Sacred Foundry, we do get to play Elspeth. One mana white dude. Or, I don't know why I said one mana. Two mana white dude is what I meant to say. All right, we're going wide. They have one card in hand. I think we're stabilizing, guys. I think we're doing it. This Vile Aggregate's a very weird inclusion, considering it. we've seen no other colorless creatures. Everybody want two mana white dude is my street name. Hey, you two mana white dude. Yes. I only have one card in hand. Wow. How come Lincoln Lincoln and the Bardo only has three and a half stars on Amazon? Where are these negative roos coming from? Wow. That's a good last card to have. I'm 
just gonna keep blocking here. The longer we block this guy, the longer we get to keep Elspeth alive. Oh, well, now I feel better about our our life choices. There you go. Elspeth boys for days. Oh, and it was always Jitte. Quality top deck. That is awkward. Who are you attacking? It's going to the face, so it's just a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to... Like, they don't have any other cards in hand, so... Play that lucky song for me. Lucky, 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 lucky. I got you, fam. Utter end entered the exile zone. Boy, that would have been a good one. Instead, we get to draw. It's a layered. Oh, you're just going to kill that guy. Okay. You can kill this guy, too. They all die. All right. Can I draw my card? Swamp. Here's a dude. Here's some dudes. Dudes all day. Play that 15 minute long tweezer. I have no idea what that means. Lucky, 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 lucky. Actually, you know what's funny? You know what's even better than that one? I mean, they're only dealing one with this guy. Hero of Bladehold leaves. What comes in? It's gonna be a land. Alright, well, it's a reasonable land. Like, we actually have to play this untapped, otherwise we'd probably just die. Oh my god, we're in our end step. Holy sh... that's bad. Oh my god, that's so bad. I think we just cost ourselves the game there. Yep, we did want to abrade the jit. I mean, we didn't want to abrade the jit. If we abrade the jitte, Yeah, we probably wanted to abrade it last turn. Yeah, I, I thought we were in a main phase and we actually were in the... The combat step. So this guy becomes a five. We take two trample. Gets two more counters. God, that was so bad. Did they not tr did not oh fascinating It's actually pretty good because now that's actually surprisingly good Cuz now we get to waste all of the counters they didn't pump it and they didn't kill our guys And they don't get to kill they don't get to kill four guys they only get to kill two we could have actually attacked first, but we don't 100% know that they're going to kill our guys. This is actually bonkers good for us. I thought they were going to put us to like two or three. We're still dead to a lot of top decks, but... And we got four guys a turn, and they don't longer have a jit to mow them down. Okay, that was a land. That's a good one. Yeah, we're just going to chump block both these guys at this point. How much mana would we need to do both 
12, 5. I wish it didn't have to be divided evenly. Then we can do 5, 8, 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're still not that close. I'm real tempted to just wait a turn. I think it's probably better to wait a turn. Or we just don't care about this guy. I think we have to care about this guy. Or this guy's just worse, right? Yeah, this guy's probably worse. Alright. No lightning bolt. No smash to smithereens. I guess smash doesn't have a target. Not a thing we care about. That is a good thing. So we can deal seven to the face. Five, six, seven. We can deal eight to the face. They go to 16. Uh, these are each going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we pump one. All right. So we can actually chump block one and win. All right. So we just win the game here. Yeah, you can ingest a disfigure. That's totally fine. All right. Yep, that'll do. Uh, I don't actually... This is the first year I don't have a Magic Hall of Fame ballot, and I was not told that I wasn't getting one. I just didn't get one. So I guess I was silently removed from Wizards of the Coast's uh, Hall of Fame ballot selection committee. I have no idea. Very strange to me. But what can you do? So yeah, this is the first year in like five, six years that I haven't, haven't, I don't have a ballot. I don't have a vote. So, like I had one last year. So, I didn't double check my math, so I'm hoping it's correct. And it is. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to check me out on Patreon or Twitch, you can do that in the description below. And I will see you next time. Also, slam that bell, and then you get notifications when I go live. I'll see you next time.